Welcome to another Mr. James Accounting tutorial. Today's topic is the Sales Ledger Control Account. Now in PUE, there are some things you have to memorize, some things you have to reason out, and some things you have to calculate. Control accounts is one of those things you have to memorize. Okay, you have to memorize what goes on the debit side and what goes on the credit side. Okay, a control account looks like any other T account. The sales ledger control looks something like this, and the uh, the information and for it comes from your opening balance or balance brought down comes from the previous period that is balances your credit sales comes from the total of the sales day book or sales journal. The return in words comes from the total of the return in words journal or day book. The checks received from your debtors comes from the cash book. And the cash received from your debtors also come from the cash book. Discounts allowed also comes from the cash book. And the closing accounts receivable balance normally is calculated and compared with the debtors balances at the end of the period. Usual items that you find in a control account. There's bad debts. We can get that from the general journal and it's credited in the control account. There's other checks. We can get that from the cash book or debited debited in the control account interest on overdue account we can get that from the general journal and it's normally it's debited in the control account and then we have set offs which we will get from the general journal which is credited in the control account And the general rules of a sales ledger control account. Items which increase accounts receivable are debited. And items which decrease accounts receivable are credited. Here's a work example of interest to us here is sales ledger credit balances. And uh, this is obtained from the sales ledger. Those uh, debtors who overpay their account sometimes will wind up with a credit balance on their account. When you add all together, you get this amount and it must be shown in the sales ledger at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month here. Okay, the other items are what we just read and uh, uh, soon as you have memorized these you can attempt the problem and I would suggest that you don't look on this until you have actually attempted the problem on your own. And you should not attempt it before you have learned the items by heart. Have a good day, gentlemen.